all right what's up guys it's kevin with optimize decentrals no fancy setup or no official setup of what i did my camera but i did ayahuasca over the weekend november 13th 14th 15th and i'm just blown away man i'm no words to can't put into words the amount of insight and spirit and flow that I experienced and well this video is more about why I decided to end my streak my 11 month semen retention streak I'm going to share as much as I can as succinctly as I can but I have to give it some context otherwise none of this will make sense first if you've never experienced ayahuasca I'm not advocating it because everyone needs it at different stages of their life but you will not be able to fully understand everything that I'm saying until you experience it. From your perspective, right, you may think I'm maybe crazy, maybe I'm justifying things, maybe I'm, you know, maybe it just did something to me and it, you know, caused me to like relapse. No, 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 guys. I'm gonna explain some stuff to you that will like blow your mind, or at least it blew my mind, and I wanna tie it into why I decided to relapse. I don't see it that way. I see it as why I decided to stop my streak. And a lot of it goes so deep. There are so many dimensions, so many layers of truth, so many layers that we don't see. And ayahuasca just blew all that open for me, right? All my, I would say like all my shockers, right? My third eye especially, just everything just blew open more. And semen retention helped me helped me a lot a lot guys it like it prepared me for all this but at the same time why i decided to end it goes super deep sort of it goes super deep but let me explain to you first put some context behind all this behind my first relapse i'm at work guys so if i get interrupted or if you know some client comes in or customer comes in I might have to cut it off but i i think i'm protected right now it feels like i'll be good until the rest of my work so here we go my first successful streak of semen retention was 13 months long, all right? And I did this when I first broke up with my girlfriend at the time, year-long relationship. We we were together officially and unofficially for a year. I consider her, I'll consider her my first actual girlfriend, even though, you know, we didn't really make it official. It was around my birthday time, around this time, November, right, where we decided to break up. And for me, I was like, yes! Yes, now I finally get to practice semen retention because, dude, sex is draining. It's fun and all, but if you're constantly busting nuts, it's draining. You know, we would often, like, bang or, you know, we would often fuck for, like, an hour or two hours. And usually it'd go, like, pretty late at night to, like, 11, 12. That's late for me. It's cutting into my bedtime. And it's fun and everything you know i i you know would pleasure her and i'd feel good for doing it and you know i'd make her like come multiple rounds and it was beautiful and all but don't get me wrong like it's draining and what i realized was i wasn't really getting much back in return that sounds like selfish and everything and transactional it's it is but it isn't what i realized was like this relationship was shallow it was just based off of sex you know and like there wasn't much to exchange other than having sex and that's why i was very although it was bittersweet you know you break up you get sad you have you're literally heartbroken i was super super happy to start my semen retention journey and i was like now i get to do semen retention until i'm fucking successful right that's my idea of semen retention why i decided to do this is because this is a superpower i'll manifest whatever i want I'll attract whoever I want, which is, you know, one of the motives. You know, I can have whomever I want. I'll just save, 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 retent, retent, retent until I either meet a very beautiful girl or I'm successful, right? Those are like my two options. Successful, see more intention. No relapse, right? Not even in the picture. And then fast forward, right? One year and one month later, uh, it was around the end of my bodywork school, massage therapy, which was an eight-month-long eight program. Um, so, you know, I had a four or five month streak of semen retention and then decided to start school and then eight month long program, right? And around the time that I ended my streak, 
I remember the night before I had like, you know, my brother's, uh, what was it called? Cauliflower pizza, right? And there was a lot of cheese in there. And I, and I was, I remember I was doing mostly vegan vegetarian. I was going pretty clean. I did have eggs and maybe meat like once every two, three weeks, but I didn't feel like eating, I didn't want to eat meat because my digestion was screwing up, which now I know why it's the city energy, it's the fucking EMF and stuff like that, because you learn so much during ayahuasca, that's what I'm saying, there's so many dimensions of truth just like blasting you, but anyhow, I thought when I had this pizza, right, my brother's pizza and the cheese, I thought, and in some ways it potentially is, it caused me to have chaotic sexual energy that I could not transmute right? It was just like blodged in my sexual organs. And no matter what breathing, what I was thinking of, I was just consumed with this energy. And I'm like, wow, this is some dark, toxic energy. Maybe it's the dairy that, you know, really fucked me up, right? It's like, it just like, there, it can't be anything else. So I decided to consciously bust. And after that, I, I felt like, I was like, wow, wow, just like that, huh? Just like that, there goes my streak. One year and one month, there goes my streak. I gave in, and I felt I, I felt like the post blues of the uh, you know ejaculation. But there was a part of me that knew that it was about time to end it. Now, fast forward again, between that month until when I started up again, I would go on a few months of retention. Uh, you know, I would you know bust a nut, watch watch porn and all that, <laughs> bust a nut, and it would be on and off for like. I think a few months and then no December 15th of 2019 right I decided you know like this this shit ain't worth it you know it's just not even it's not even worth it just stay in retention so I was like I'm gonna stick on this again and I'm gonna go again until I either meet a really beautiful girl or I am successful two options same thing and I decided to uh so I didn't I didn't relapse at all i had some wet dreams which i you feel down or bad for having a wet dream but after learning what i learned during ayahuasca like yo it's it's totally fine wet dreams i've what i've heard and learned is that there's two ways you can ejaculate right one is just you know discharging seminal fluid you know during wet dreams during at night and the other one is consciously engaging or unconsciously engaging in a sexual act and you know busting your nut that way one you imbue spiritual sexual energy in it the second one is just your body releasing discharge protein right supposedly i believe that so here's where it gets kind of deep and kind of befuddled or you know kind of kind of really hard to grasp and put your mind around and accept if you've never gone through it but this is what I realized, okay? After I did ayahuasca, I was feeling really elevated, at peace, saw the truth behind many, many, many things, so many insights, so much knowledge bombs dropping into me. And last night I decided, you know, this is, okay, well the first night I came back from ayahuasca, the next day I had, you know, some pho, right? Some, my family made some, some homemade pho for the second time. We had like some beef tendon, some beef tongue, and uh, you know, it was really tasty. You know, they don't recommend eating meat. Um, so, you know, it's totally fine. But I mean, they don't recommend eating meat, but I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was that bad. I, I, it, it, it felt fine, you know. But that night, I had a big ass wet dream. And I'm like, what the hell? Was it because I ate meat? And, and then I, I thought about it. No, just, well, I thought about it now, and it's like, no, that doesn't make sense, because I had. I had like uh, I had protein chicken meat before, you know. I've had chipotle before with their sour cream, with their you know all that stuff, and I've never had uncontrollable sexual urges. I have never had uncontrollable sexual energy that I could not transmute through breath work, through just breathing. There's never had that. So I was the first night I was like that I came back. I was like, why am I busting a nut? You know, like why do I have a wet dream? And then I realized, okay, it's probably my body purging. That was the first insight. That was the first sign that I got. Okay, maybe it's just because my body needs to get rid of some of this energy. It's totally fine. I'll let that go. And then now, two days after that moment, which was earlier today, when I decided to break my streak, I woke up with an insane, insane urge. Like, 
but to be fair, last night I had Chipotle, right? I had I had the typical stuff that I get. Um, they put sour cream, so there was dairy, there was steak, which could potentially mean that you know the energy that I was eating it was maybe arousing my sexual energy, right? All that stuff was arousing my sexual energy. It could it could be it really could be. Um, but the next day when I woke up, I had like uncontrollable sexual energy again and i'm like what the fuck you know like yo like it the best way i can describe it is when you do ayahuasca right you have really strong urges to purge some people throw up this way i had a purge you know my purges were down south which is perfectly reasonable and and fine because i did combo right frog medicine i don't know if you can see my stitch i'll show you this one Combo is a frog medicine, right? You basically put frog poison on you and that helps you purge. So I did my purging up the front end before the ayahuasca session. So my purges came out the back end, right? Through my digestive system with ayahuasca. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Because I cleaned out a lot of my energy, right? A lot of the things that were being purged and then I brought in new energy, right? That that could potentially trigger that uncontrollable sexual urge. But I really thought about it. I've eaten Chipotle, I've eaten like balls of wall, I've binged, I've done a bunch of stuff, you know, but I've never had sexual energy like that. Like uncontrollable sexual energy. No matter what I eat, you know, how much chocolate I eat, which, you know, gets me horny, not horny, but like gets me a lot of testosterone because of the magnesium and the zinc and stuff. No matter how much of that I have, I, I could still transmute my sexual energy. So with all that being said, basically what I'm trying to say is this, okay? When I woke up, right, with this uncontrollable sexual energy, I really debated on it for a long time, right? I sat with it, I took cold showers, I, um, I did my workout, and I still felt it. And then I went to work and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do one more thing to clean the air, right? So I saged the place. I took my rape, you know, which, oh my God, I love. Guys, this is my new medicine. You'll probably think I'm crazy now too for using it. But see, it's it's hard to explain. You just won't understand until you do ayahuasca. It, it opens your perspective so much more. You become so more accepting. You become so much more understanding of why people do what they do. And it just makes sense. So if you're judging right now, I understand. No judgment for me, at least. I understand, you know, judge what you will. Assume what you will, but... This is my truth, you know? And the way I saw it was, the reason why I ended my streak is because during this 11 months of uh, semen retention, my energy was circulating, okay? I'm getting chills talking about this. My energy was circulating. I was, you know, doing the microcosmic orbit, I was doing my breathing exercises, and I was, I was blooming, right? I was activating my chakras, I was activating my kundalini, I was awakening my kundalini, and the sexual energy that I conserved, the semen retention that I conserved, has has did its role, has did its part, okay? All that sexual energy has never really escaped my body other through, you know, the wet dreams, which doesn't really count. But after my, I did my ayahuasca scare money, right? It literally purges you of everything, right? You shed the toxic energy in my gut that I didn't need. You, sh you, you open up your chakras, right? Especially your third eye just blows that shit right open. And I don't know if you guys can hear this music, but shout out to Melissa. Oh my God. I listened to the, the music back on their page to bring back the spirit and it, ah, it just feels so good. Uh, any, anyways, what I'm trying to say is this. I, I, I drew a picture of it too, okay? So I'm circulating my sexual energy, right? For the past 11 months, focusing the energy on myself. And now it's time to give love, to shed the old spiritual energy that I had retaining in my body it needed to come out the same way it felt like I needed to take a shit when I did drink ayahuasca, like at the edge of your butthole and the rim, you know, when it's like, it feels like, okay, I really got to take a shit, you know, the same thing felt like that in my genitals, right? Like, dude, I, I, I got to do this. You know, I consciously chose to, to, to fap off. It just wasn't serving me to hold on to this energy anymore. And I realized a lot of it had to do with ego too, because if you watch my videos, if you watch when I had my mustache, you know, and talking about masculinity and all that stuff, and you look at me now, like, the way I'm talking is different. It's more genuine. It's it's less effort, less 
less trying. And the reason why is because semen tension, it, it supercharges your body, it supercharges your chakras, but at the same time, it also amplifies everything that exists. So if I had negative energy, traumatic energy, which a lot of it already released and cleared up, it basically amplifies everything that's within your body, even your ego. So when I was on semen retention, I had a lot of ego. I had a lot of pride. I had a lot of aggression. I had a lot of uh, masculine darkness and drive, right? Just, uh, right? Just, uh, just talking about it. it just gets me going. But now because I purged a lot, you know, leading up to ayahuasca and I purged a lot during ayahuasca through my shits, right? Literally, I felt like a shit out of demons, guys. My body feels a lot more light. I feel like I'm carrying a lot more en light energy, right? Cosmic energy, divine energy. My DNA, my cells feel like they've been upgraded or they're still upgrading, right? I'm still upgrading right now. And I could no longer hold on to my previous sexual energy. I could no longer hold on to that. And I consciously decided that I was just gonna fap, right? I'm just gonna bust a nut. Did I watch porn? Yes, but here's the funny part. Um, I did my hoppy before too, and I was just like, I gotta find something. Like, I, I can't just bust a nut to anyone, right? I, I, I was looking through it, like YouTube videos, like, you know, finding one that resonates, and guys, dude, porn, this is why I don't recommend watching porn. A lot of those girls that I was seeing with my third eye and just feeling, a lot of them are traumatized and abused, right? There's no, like, there's no healthy love in porn. Very rare. It's probably like 99 to 1, right? 99% is just traumatized woman or women who have issues with their dad or have like problems with and are just like using sex to get love and it's it's also nasty right i ended up finding one but i couldn't see her face on it and uh, i think it was like a boyfriend and a girlfriend so it, it was it was it was a bit better and the reason why I'm, I'm sharing this with you why i use porn is because you know i didn't want to just bust a nut to myself you know i i enjoy watching you know a, a, a sexual like you know like a attractive girl so i'm totally transparent about it and what are my plans now guys well here's the thing i had the insight or the thing to bust a nut three times all right three times and to get get back on seam retention because seam retention it's still where it's at guys it's still where it's at and one of the great things about resetting, so to say, is the first few months of semen retention is when you feel the most supercharged, the most benefit, so to say, and then it just tapers off and it's like a slow, de slow drip feed of energy. But yes, how I see it was I needed to release spiritual energy that I had no, that's no longer serving me like a snake shedding its skin I had to release that because the only way I could get that spiritual energy out of me rather than purging taking a shit was Through ejaculation, right? That's the only other way I could think of of purging the energy, right? That's not no longer The Kevin that I'm trying to be that I that I'm trying to be right the Kevin that I was right that strong ego uh, try hard super aggressive uh, masculinity needed to get purged, needed to get shot out. And the way, one way to do it was through ejaculation. And the why I thought I had three pop into my mind is because, you know, Trinity and, you know, the number three, but also because the process of producing semen, sperm, it draws from your bones, it draws from your blood. So it gets deep, right? It, it digs into different areas of your body to release. So I need to release the old aspects, the deeper energetic aspects of Kevin that's lingering in the background. And that's why I felt like uncontrollable energy. I checked in with my body, I checked in with my soul, I checked in with my spirit. And after Hoppe too, you just know what, what the right action is to take. So I, I just made that conscious decision to end my streak. But here's the thing, guys. Even after I end my streak, you know, there was still that moment of like, ah, fuck, man. The post blue is like, this is why I don't want to ejaculate. This is why I don't want to bust a nut because it weakens you and it uh depletes you and you're just like ah shit did i do the right thing but guys i know i did the right thing because now i could reset now i could start fresh again new kevin after ayahuasca deeper uh deeper wisdom deeper insight now i can empty the like empty the uh the energy empty the body empty the spirit now i can start from a basic point to retain that new essence of Kevin and then have that Kevin 
be supercharged with semen retention. You, <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? Get rid of old Kevin, spiritual energy Kevin, through, because I've already purged through the front end, purged through the back end, purged through the, the penis, the genitals. Now when I retain in this new space, the new me is more powerful, is more present, is more strong, is more wise, is more loving. So semen retention is gonna be that much more powerful this time around. But I just wanted to create this video because this is why I ended my streak. And it's not like, oh, you relapsed, bro. You know, you relapsed because you know you couldn't, you, uh, you fucked up, you couldn't control your urge. That's what I feel like people are thinking. But no, guys, when you do ayahuasca, you're so much more intuitive. You're so much more in tune. Going with the flow, feeling out impulses, knowing what actions to take, all of that is so much more incongruent, so much more aligned because this, ayahuasca helps you purge everything that's not you, not love and light, right? You are a light being. This is what they mean by it. You are pure love. You are pure light or you have the potential to be, right? You come in as a baby, pure light, pure love. Over time, over the lifetime, you accumulate trauma, you accumulate toxins through living in the external world, you accumulate thought process beliefs. <clears throat> ayahuasca, when you drink it, takes all that shit that's not you, that is not love and light, and it purges it, right? Either through the front end, the back end, both, right? And because of that, you are more sensitive. You are blasted open, right? That's why you people see the kaleidoscope colors, the different colors of the rainbow, right? The, the, the whole thing. Well, I was seeing that. And you have a much deeper level of perception, of intuitive abilities, of, of just knowing what actions to take because you're clean, you're clear, you're connected to great spirit. You know where the flow of the energy is. You know what to do. And because of that, I, I knew, no, right? I know that I made the right decision. Even though it sucks to end your streak, I made the right decision. Because the streak has to end one day or another. Unless you're like a supreme yogi who is fully dedicated to cel celibacy, one day your streak will end. And you'll either end it consciously or unconsciously. And I chose to end it consciously. And I don't regret it at all. And I'm about to do it two more times before I get back on track. So a lot of great stuff coming your way, guys. But there's a lot of physical work I have to do, right? A lot of dharma that I have to fulfill. Not just online, but more of the physical. I have to get back into my body work practice. I have to help people release their trauma, help people heal. Um, that's what I'm called to do. So I'll post all my insights of ayahuasca and uh, what I've learned uh, and whatever needs to come out. And then I might take a little break from uh, Optimize Essential, my online business. Eventually I'll come back, but right now I'm just going with the flow, you know, listening to my heart, listening to my intuition, and just trust me when I say this, it'll all make sense when you finally experience ayahuasca, all right? I'm not advocating you to do it, but some things will not make sense You'll think I'm crazy, or you'll you just won't you'll you'll be judgmental. You won't be you able to see it to my perspective until you experience it. But anyways, this video is getting too long. I gotta end it here now. I'm gonna go eat, replenish my body a little bit, and I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Look forward to talking more. I look forward to uh, making more videos and being of service, guys. Light and love. You guys have a good one. Peace.